Welcome to another Fix It Friday. Today we're going to be talking about logic probes. Um, logic probes come in many shapes and sizes, but this is my favorite one. This is the HP 545A logic probe. And logic probes are really useful for uh, just seeing what's going on in the circuit. Um, just by using the tip and touching one of the pins, it can tell you if it's high or low or blinking or etc. Now, there's four types of uh, positions or voltage levels that a chip is going to have on a TTL motherboard like this, or most things that you're work, that you're working on. Um, you're going to have a high. You're going to have a low. You're going to have uh, something that's toggling or you can have uh, one that's not connected. And uh, the indicator lights for those are um, that it gets brighter, um, and that says that it's at a high logic level or at five volts. Um, this is a low level, uh, it will go dark, um, and that indicates that it is a, um, at a logic level of low or zero volts. This one uh, will blink, um, if it's toggling, and this could be one hertz, it could be all the way up to like eight or 10 megahertz. Um, this um, logic probe kind of slows down the blinking so that you can see it. And then finally, uh, there's floating pins, ones that don't do anything. So they're neither connected to uh, five volts, they're neither, or it's ground, or they're not toggling. So this can be uh, indicative of a pin that they left floating on purpose, or one that is bad. So to demonstrate how a logic probe is useful, let's have a look at the schematic here. Um, now this board, the problem is, is that it's dead. It doesn't seem to be doing anything. And um, the first thing that we want to check when we're uh, looking at a circuit board like this is to see if the, uh, the CPU is getting power, and we check that and it, and it is. So it's probably a logic problem. So we can run our logic probe down all these pins and find out which ones aren't blinking, which ones, um, that's kind of a headache. Now, the uh, very first thing you should try when, uh, when it's dead like this and is to look and see if the PC board has a clock. So you can see that right here uh, for our CPU, the clock comes in on pin 11. Now I've checked that and it's not blinking, so we're gonna work our way back. Um, this says pin 13 at 14 H. So let's go down to H and then 14. So H14, the pin 13 should be blinking and it is stuck low. All right, so then we can work our way back to uh, 13J. 13J. So 13J. And it should come from pin 12. So 14, 13, 12. Okay, pin 12 is low. So then we can continue working back through the circuit here. <clears throat> We can go back and we see that it comes out at M clock. Well, M clock is right here. So let's work our way back and look at a one, that is one B, one B, and we should have a clock at pin three and pin four, and we do not. We have a high and a low, all right? So then we can work it back to Looks like pin one and two, and a low. This should be toggling, and it's not. And uh, work it back. Oh, look! Somebody has sabotaged us. <laughs> Somebody has grounded the crystal. So now, if we look back through our circuit, we are able to see at all of these pins, they are doing what they're supposed to do. Now, I faked that, but that is actually a very common problem for uh, a chip like this to be bad, one of the main clock chips. And uh, so, but you can see how easy that is. You just start with uh, where you know the problem is and then work your way backwards and th through the schematic until you wind up at a chip that is acting funny. 
Um, and usually the way you narrow that down is say, say this is a uh, this is toggling and it's supposed to toggle out of here, but it doesn't. So that could mean you have a bad chip or that could mean that you have a grounded pin or something like that. But that's how you use a logic probe. And I hope that helps some of you. And uh, don't forget to like and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. And thanks for watching.